Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have another circuit that has a number of capacitors on them, in this case four of them, connected to a battery, an 18 volt battery, and what we're trying to do here is find the charge on each of the four capacitors and the voltage across each of the four capacitors. How do you do that? Well, first of all, to find the charge in each capacitor, we first must find the total charge on the whole system, on the whole circuit, which means we need to find the equivalent or total capacitance. So step one, find C total first. To do that, we're going to simplify the circuit. To do that, we first take a look at these two capacitors. And let me draw a little circle around it. So we're going to simplify these two first. They're two in parallel, and those are easy to add. We simply add them together, which means we now end up with a new circuit that looks like this. We're now just going to have these three capacitors, like that, connected to a single battery. Those are still the same. These are still the 16 microfarad capacitors. This one now is going to be 4 plus 12, which is a 16 microfarad capacitor. So this is the same capacitor or the equivalent capacitor of the two that we just added. Now we're going to add these three together. Of course, this is still 18 volts. So now we're going to add these three, which are in series. Now when you add capacitors in series, you must use the one over rule. So in that case, we're going to say that, that C total is going to be equal to, or one over C total, better to write it like that, one over C total is equal to one over C1 plus one over C2 plus one over C3. So in this case, this would now be the C1, C2, and C3 in this particular equation. So that's the revamped circuit. To do that, we say 1 over C total is equal to 1 over 16 plus 1 over 16 plus 1 over 16. So that would be equal to 3 over 16. In other words, C total is equal to 16 divided by 3. So now we have the total capacitance, 16 over 3, and that would be in microfarads. The next step, now we're going to find total charge. Find Q total, and by definition, Q total is going to be equal to C total times, and I keep putting that little line in there, I don't want that E, that's a C, C total times the voltage across the entire circuit. So if we want to do the equivalent circuit, we'd simply have a single capacitor and the 18 volt supply like this, 18 volts. And so this would now be the C total or equivalent, which is equal to 16 over three microfarads. And this should be a three right there. There we go. And that's C total. All right. So now to find the total charge on this capacitor right here, what we need to do is use this equation. So this is going to be equal to 16 over 3, that's microfarads, multiplied times 90 volts, oh, not 90 volts, 18 volts. That's a different problem, huh? 18 volts. So 3 goes into 18 six times, six times that would be 96. So we have 96 microcoulombs of total charge. So that means that this equivalent capacitor has a charge, so the charge that would be Q total is equal to 96 microcoulombs. Okay, now how does that charge distribute itself over these three equivalent capacitors? Well, since these are in series, we know that the capacitance or the charge in series is the same for every capacitor, so that means that for step three, for the intermediate solution, for this circuit right here, we can see that, and I'm gonna put these little, in little quotation marks because they're not the same, well, they're not the same ones as we had up there. Those are the different ones. So we can say that Q1 equals Q2 equals Q3 equals Q total, which is equal to 96 microcoulombs. So that means that the charge here will be equally distributed on each of these three capacitors. And let's go ahead and 
write that down. So this one has 96 microcoulombs. This one has 96 microcoulombs. This one has 96 microcoulombs. Now, since the, these two capacitors are the same as these two capacitors right here, they will have the same charge on them. So this one has a charge of 96 microcoulombs. This one has a charge of 96 microcoulombs. Now, what about the two in parallel? Well, it turns out that when capacitors are in parallel, they will have charge proportional to their size. The reason for that is that the voltage across each of these two capacitors must be the same. And we can see from the equation, if we use that equation, that voltage is equal to charge divided by capacitance. So the ratio of the charge to capacitance must be the same for capacitors in parallel because they carry the same voltage. That means that since there's 96 microcoulombs distributed, so these two combined have a total of 96 microcoulombs, how much of it will be on the 4 microfarad capacitor and how much will be on the 12 microfarad capacitor? Well, it's proportional to size, so that means that Q3 is equal to 96 microcoulombs, the total charge, times the ratio of 4 divided by the total, which is 16, which in this case, that would be, let's see, 48, 24, that would be 24 microcoulombs. And Q4, oh, no, Q2, not Q4, Q2. Q3 is this one, Q2 is that one. So Q2 is equal to 96 microcoulombs times the ratio of 12 over 16, which is three quarters of that, that would be 72 microcoulombs. So now we have the charge on each one of those two. So this one will get 24 microcoulombs, and this one will get 72 microcoulombs. And finally, we need to find the voltage across each. Now you know the voltage across these two will be equal, and the voltage across those two have to be equal because they have the same size capacitance and the same amount of charge on them. So what we can say then for four, now we're going to find the voltage. So for the first one, V1 is equal to, it'll be Q1 divided by C1. So Q1 divided by C1, which is equal to Q1, that would be 96 microcoulombs, divided by C1, which is 16 microfarads. So that would be equal to, let's see here, that goes in there six times, so that would be six volts, which is also equal to V3 because it has the same capacitance and the same charge. Oh, not three, make it four, V4. There we go. So now we have the voltage on the first one and the last one. What about the voltage in between? Well, since those two combined act as a single 16 microfarad capacitor, those two will have also the same amount of voltage on it, must also have six volts on it. So we can see that in the combination, so V in the 2-3 combination is going to be equal to Q, 2-3 equivalent, divided by C, 2-3 equivalent. So in this case, that would be 96 microcoulombs divided by 16 microfarads. And so that one also will have 6 volts. So we have V1 is 6 volts, V4 is 6 volts, and V2 and V3 are all 6 volts as well. So using a different color, you can see that this one will have a 6 volt across it, this branch will have a 6 volt across it, and this will have a 6 volt across it. And notice when you add all the voltage drops together, you do end up with a total of 18 volts from the source battery. And that's how we find the charge and the voltage on each capacitor in the circuit like that.